All right, guys, let's make a commercial. So I have all my clips and they're in the media bin as I imported them in the previous video. Um, and now I can go ahead and bring them in and start to clip them. So somewhere you'll always have a media bin, somewhere there will always be a timeline, and somewhere there will always be a preview window depending on what workspace you're working with. Some will have more bells and whistles. Some might have another preview window where you can cut each clip individually. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and drag in the first clip and I'm going to grab it and I'm going to drag it down into my timeline. All right. So for this clip, what I want to do is I want to cut in and cut out where he comes into the frame, which is right there. And so you can see I'm scrubbing along the bottom here to find that. And there he is. So I'll go ahead and cut there. There's two different ways you could cut. Um, if you were to grab the edge of this clip and you see how that cursor comes up, you could slide in and that would get you to that beginning where you want to be. Um, and then if you ever changed your mind, you could actually go backwards and reduce that or increase that. <clears throat> The other way is to have the clip selected and then go look for, sometimes it's going to be a razor blade, sometimes it's going to be something like this, but I'm going to go ahead and split it there. And then to highlight, I'm just marquing around this first and removing that and I'm going to go ahead and slide that over. The next clip is he looks to the cup machine and he sees the Cheetos. So I will go ahead and bring in the Cheetos. All right, this little clip looks good to me and I don't want it to be too long, so I'm gonna shorten it down. Um, you can see up here, there is these seconds and minutes, and then there's this other thing behind a semicolon. These are the frames. So for every second, there's gonna be 24 frames. So if I expand this out, you'll see 17 or <clears throat> 16 seconds, 20 frames, 17 seconds, 17 seconds, 10 frames, 17 seconds, 20 frames, so this is a 30, fr 30 frames per second clip or film that we're making. So the next clip that I'm gonna be looking for is where he smiles. And I believe this is it. He looks in, he sees it, he smiles. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and move over to where the clip is. And there it starts, the motion, and I could end it there. I'm also going to move this clip over to the timeline. You do not want any gaps in your timeline. If you have a gap, you're going to just see a blank screen or a black screen for that moment. The next thing is he's going to pull out some money from his pocket. So I have two clips here for money coming out of the pocket and I'm going to scrub through them to see which one I like better. And I think it's the second one. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that in. What we're about to create is called an invisible or an invisible cut or an invisible edit. In this clip, we'll start right where it goes into the pocket. And here, as he moves forward, I want to go ahead and cut that because the next clip shows him putting the money into the machine. So we're going to go ahead and pull that down. Now the reason this is called an invisible edit is because we want it to actually feel seamless. Like here he brings the money up and to there. So we have to get the timing right so it feels like it was all shot at the same time. If I slide this over, now we can look and see how does that line up. Here comes the money into the machine. Yeah, and that's good. So I'm going to go ahead and cut there at the end of his selection. And then the next clip is going to be the Cheetos coming out. So I'm going to start right where the action happens. And I can go ahead and cut. Delete. And I'll bring this back over. And the final clip is when he picks up the Cheetos. 
So I'm going to start the clip right where he comes into frame. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut and delete and put this together. And I'm looking at the preview and everything looks pretty good. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to create a little title card for my commercial. Um, so on the left side on this menu, you'll see all these different effects. Um, on Camtasia, it has annotations. Uh, you should find a title card, uh, depending on whichever uh, program you're using, there should be a place where you can create a title card. You could also do this in Photoshop or another platform and then bring it over here um, and then type it in. So I'm going to go ahead and type in Flaming Hot Cheetos. Uh, and um, then I'm going to put like a little um, burns your mouth that makes you smile. And so I create that first title card and you can see down in the bottom here where I'm creating the second one. Um, and then I'm just going to make some adjustments to the color. So I'm happy with that. Um, and I feel like it should be orange because everything turns orange when you eat Cheetos. And uh, once that is all good and ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and add a transition. So this is what we have not done. We have put all these clips in order, but we haven't created transitions. There are different types of transitions. Uh, the two that I recommend you use the most are either gonna be a fade to black um, or a cross dissolve. Um, here we have, um, there's all kinds of, uh, there's swirls and cubes and checkerboards. Um, and some of these will really feel like a used car commercial. So um, I stick with just the basics um, and I'm just gonna use the fade, which would fade to black and then fade through black. Um, and here you can see what that does. It goes to black and then brings it up. Um, and then there's also a cross dissolve, which would, if I delete that and I go back here and I go fade, um, it's basically just going to dissolve into the next frame. So um, those are the two that I would probably use the most. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and render this. Um, so you're going to go to File and Export, and you're going to export this as an MP4. You can directly share. If you see the share in the top right, you can share directly to YouTube. But I'm going to go ahead and just put it onto my desktop. This will take a couple seconds, but then your file will all be processed and be together and ready to share.